it's been fabulous to finally bring back under the same roof around 400 APRA members, exchanging, listening to keynote speakers, having interactive sessions. We had the opportunity to have 30 uh, APRA members visiting one of our strategic uh, assets. Uh, I think it's uh, the best way for analyst investors to appreciate an asset. We've seen four assets, uh, one by Clépierre, one by Covivio, one by Jacina, one by BNP. And the good thing about the tours were actually we could speak to the companies in order to get more detailed knowledge and information about each asset strategy. I represent a shopping center company from, from Norway, so it was interesting for us to, to see just how they uh, develop shopping centers in Paris, bring some inspiration back home. I think what I've been really impressed with is the content talking us through what is quite a difficult future. It's been very exciting and very, very helpful. It's important for the industry to learn about the risk of a prolonged conflict in Ukraine. And I think that's really the biggest risk right now. This is a good investment, but people have to be thinking about assets that are resilient to global climate change. Climate change can disrupt the value of many assets. For me, EPRA has always been one of the most important conferences a year. If you look at the content today, it was really spot on. We are all worried what's happening in Ukraine. How does it affect our economy? How does it affect uh, the real estate world? The main important aspect about the afternoon sessions is that it was based on the contribution of all attendants, no? that we are so active in discussing the uncertainty. We had a fantastic discussion. We were 50 uh, people discussing about trends in terms of the residential sector, how do we see the market, different scenarios, very interesting. The scenario thinking I found uh, uh, very impressive and I think we should do that more. And I guess the key thing as well, just chatting to European colleagues, is to compare one's own UK perspective, domestic perspective, with their experience, particularly when you're looking at some of the key drivers such as energy prices, inflation, interest rate outlook. Having these elevated conversations around what's happening in other parts of the world, but seeing again that there are so many things that we're grappling with in the States, is priceless.